Hey Jody here, thanks for watching another video from WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. Let's get to it. This is an outside corner joint in 063 aluminum, 1.6 millimeter thick. I've got it clamped down with some spring clamps to an aluminum angle block, just kind of for a heat sink. When, when you're trying to tick weld small aluminum pieces, they get saturated with heat really quickly and then they just weld funny. So this will pull some heat out of it and uh, let me weld the whole thing without stopping. First thing is to get a tack on each corner, puddle the corners just lightly, and then stab the rod in there and join them and add another, another dab or two extra just to give yourself a little strength on the tacks and to give yourself a little something to weld from and to without blowing the corner away. Now I'm going to set the machine on an 80 and use a foot pedal. And that's because of that heat sink I've got it clamped to. Without the heat sink it'd probably be more like 65 amps. Post flow is just long enough to keep the electrode silver. That's what I do on aluminum. Anything more than that on aluminum is kind of just wasting argon. So after post flow, I set the cleaning action. You can see this, this machine is a CK Worldwide machine. It has little blue spots where they figure the sweet spot is. So I set the AC balance there and it was welding pretty clean. So AC frequency, and again, got a little blue spot between 110 and 140. So 120 is a pretty good sweet spot for this on the, on the frequency, 120 hertz. So I'm using a tapered electrode, a 332 electrode that's tapered almost like I would weld thick steel with. And 120 hertz kind of helps kind of pinpoint the arc a little bit. And notice here I'm raising and lowering the electrode, and that's kind of a habit that I get into sometimes if I start duffing too many electrodes and having to clean too many electrodes. When that puddle grows from you adding filler wire, it'll grow right into your tip of your electrode if you're not careful. So just by going up and down like this, I don't clean many electrodes. So that's the end of the joint. Going pretty good. Now, I didn't get a lot of penetration for the first inch or so of this thing. Started off a little tentative and then I decided ah, I need a little bit. I need two or three more amps here. And uh, you'll see the first inch or so I got just barely got penetration and then the rest of it did pretty good. Now sometimes on a joint like this, just depends on the application, sometimes you'll need full penetration and you might even need to run a second bead depending on if you need to sand off and get a corner, a sharp corner profile. In which case you might want to just bump it up 5 or 10 amps and let that puddle sink like this and then maybe even come back with a really cold bead to put a corner on it so that you can sand off and have a 90 degree corner. Different techniques for different applications. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video. My online store is at weldmonger.com. That is how I pay for these. See you next time.